Hello, uh, my name is Dr. Basavaraj. I'm a consultant gynecologist, uh, fertility specialist and uh, uh, practice andrology. I practice at uh, my clinic, uh, Vishwas Fertility and Andrology Clinic in Marathalli. And I also work in uh, Cloud9 Hospital in uh, Old Airport Road. Infertility itself it's, has become a very uh, common issue in the society and the incidence has been increasing. Male infertility contributes up to even, uh, normally we say 20%, but nowadays we say that it's going up to 50% of the cause for infertility. If we take a general population, 1 in 20 men who is walking on the road has some infertility issue. And uh, 1 in 100 men has a no sperm count, which is called agiospermia. So the, increase, the incidence is increasing. The causes of uh, male infertility are one, we divide into three things. One is we say it is the uh, production part which is uh, the problem. Second thing is, is there any block or what you say obstruction. Third thing is, uh, is the hormones which are produced in the brain are not sufficient to for sperm production. So coming to the first part where the production is less, it's mainly the testicular dysfunction what we say. It may be because of so many reasons. Many of the times, we don't know the reason why the count is less. We call it as an idiopathic, no reason count. I think it's mainly because of socioeconomical and mainly the lifestyle factors like, you know, uh, uh, the smoking, uh, alcohol, uh, using of drugs, and too much of stress, uh, not eating the right food, not eating at the right time, and stress. These are the most important factors which contributes to the infertility. Along with that, there are some uh, uh, factors like uh, trauma to the testes, and sometimes there are genetic causes for uh, genetic causes where the testes stop producing the sperms or maybe a trauma or a torsion means the twisting of the testes, infections, uh, radiation, chemotherapy, or, uh, uncontrolled diabetes, cancer. So there are so many reasons and, but majority what we say we don't know the reason. I think the lifestyle uh, changes or lifestyle uh, what we are adopting is uh, affecting the sperm production and also the quality. The second part is obstruction which is less common. Uh, the most common reason would be uh, again you know it is because of infection. The tube which is supplying you know the, the sperm from the testicle outside to the outside is blocked or it could be sometimes we call vast difference absence of vast difference that's also a common reason and uh, uh, some men undergo uh, you know they have two children uh, and they undergo uh, vasectomy. So basically these are the main important things. One is you know infection, second thing is uh, the absence of vas difference and third is you know the vasectomy. We undergone vasectomy. And uh, the third part is which is very less common I would say 1% of all the or 2% of the 1 to 2% of male subfertility is hypogonadotropic hypogonadism. Means there is some problem in the brain hormones where the brain or uh, the hypothalamus it doesn't produce enough hormones enough to initiate the sperm production and enough to uh, maintain the sperm production. So uh, that is easily treatable but it takes a long time even it may take six months or sometimes you know one year or sometimes we do treat for one and a half year the patient is good enough to wait to achieve the, uh, the results. So these are the main three uh, reasons for sperm production. So once again coming back it is mainly the production part which is the problem, second thing is the obstruction and third thing is um, hormones being less in the body. So these are three common reasons for uh, the male fertility.